Hi there everyone and welcome to another computer application tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to now look at the anchor tag. Uh, we already know how to use attributes so now we're going to use the attributes to be able to create hyperlinks with our anchor tag. So what I've done is I've created a um, folder on my desktop as you can see here at the top and inside this folder I've placed all the pages that I'm going to be uh, working on within my um, web page or website at least. So there are the pages as you can see we've got a contact details example of image and my list of animals. Now you are going to recognize this page that I've currently selected. It's the one that we were working on um, and when we were learning about the attributes. And the background color is the tomato color we picked. There used to be a blue uh, horizontal rule that I changed to white now. And I also made it 80% of the screen rather than 50 like it used to be. Then what I did is I copied this um, page and then I created these two using that copy and all I did is I went in and then I just changed some of the content that was in there. So I took the list away and in this one I added contact details, just an email address and a telephone number and then in this one example of image I added the um, content of an article that I wrote on aerobic and anaerobic uh, respiration. The actual content isn't really that important but uh, I wanted to show you how we can quickly make a website without having to code too much. So I'm going to select all of them, right click and the first thing I'm doing is going to click on open and that will open all three pages in my browser. Okay, so there's my pages and let me just zoom out so we can see it. Alright, and the first one is this middle one and that's what you used to um, from the previous video. This is the list we were working on. All I did is added three uh, paragraphs here which we were going to create links with this text in order to link to the, all the other pages. And then um, I've changed the line as I mentioned. And then what I did is I copied that and I used the same type of format. Oops. Uh, sorry about that. So I used the same type of format to um, create this page and then this one here the same thing contact details I've got the uh, contact details and it just says please feel free to contact me on the following and there's the email address and there's the cell phone number. So I'm going to be writing code in order to um, a link from one page to the other in order to um, click on a specific section of the page and it will take me to for example my email um, app so that I can email through to the specific uh, person. Uh, if I click on the number and I'm using a cell phone it will automatically open up my phoning app and the number will be there so I can just click on call and then I can make the call straight away. Uh, I will be showing you all that now. And then the last one is that very long page of the uh, it says example of image. Um, there's quite a bit of text there and so when you scroll all the way to the bottom I'm going to show you how to create a bookmark using the anchor and then being able to link back to that uh, bookmark. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is select all these pages again. Okay, and once I've selected them in order to open up the code I do the same thing. I right click and then I go to edit with Notepad++. So everything works exactly the same way. The only difference now you'll notice is that I've got the three um, tabs open at the top and these three tabs is um, basically what we are going to be working with all three and linking the, them together. You don't have to have all three open, you just have to have the one open that you're going to be working in. But I like to do it this way so that once I'm done with the code I can just copy and paste it into the other uh, two tabs and then just delete the ones I don't need. I'll show you what I'm talking about now. 
All right, so over here, the contact details is the first uh, text that I want to actually put in as a hyperlink. So um, the attribute, the anchor attribute, has an opening tag with an A inside and a closing tag with the forward slash A. And what that does is any writing between the two becomes the actual hyperlink. So what I'm going to do here is create the anchor A. And at the end, where I want the hyperlink to stop, I'm going to close the anchor. So we know how to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the attribute and the attribute name we need to use when creating a hyperlink is href which stands for hyperlink reference. The reference where are we referring this link to and then it's the equals and quotations. So now the first thing we're going to be looking at is this link when I click on contact details I want it to take me to the contact detail page. So I'm going to just minimize this quickly. And over here, if I were to zoom in a little bit, you'll see here contact detail. That is the name of the page. So contact details, make sure it's spelled correctly. And if there's a space that you add a space, if there's no space, make sure there isn't. And if you notice the tooltip that just came up, it says Microsoft Edge HTML. So I'm going to save it uh, with a dot HTML within that href. All right. Okay, so let's go back to the code and inside there where the value goes, I'm going to put in contact details and then dot html. Alright, so that, that's basically all I need to do and I'm going to now do the same thing for the next page. So over here, we open up the anchor. At the end, I'm going to close the anchor. And then within the opening tag, I'm going to now refer to href equals. And now the next page is called example of image. Dot HTML, the same thing. And then this last one here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up the anchor. At the end here, I'm going to close the anchor. And then inside the first opening um, tag here, I'm going to use the attribute href. And now the name of this page is my list of animals.html. Okay, there we go. So now that this is done, if I were to save just this page like that, go and open my browser and go to the page that I was working in, so this one here, and refresh it, you'll see now that I've got hyperlinks that turn blue. And when I hover the mouse over it, the cursor changes from the little arrow into a hand. If I click on the one page, you'll see it takes me now to that specific page. So what we're going to do now is copy the code and paste it in on the other two pages. A navigation bar is something that we can navigate through the whole um, website. So if I have a navigation bar on the one page, I want it to be standard throughout all the pages. If I'm going to click to the contact details page, I want to be able to click on a link that's going to take me back to the page that I was on or to the other pages of the website. So I create, as you've seen here, all my links within paragraphs and I created every single one including the one I didn't need for this particular page because I don't need a link that goes to my list of animals if I'm already on that page but I just did it like that so now I can control and C to copy I can go into this page here go and find the horizontal rule that I created which is this one here and I want to be between the heading and that page and I control V then I go to the next page and then over here, the same thing. I'm going to find the horizontal rule that's over there. And in between the heading and that, I'm going to paste. So I've created a navigation system. 
If I click just on the disk here, it's only going to save one page. I made changes now to two pages, so that's why you got the stack of disks. So that there will ask me if I want to save all of them, and I say yes, and there they're all saved. Now, when I go into my browser, I need to refresh the pages. So I refresh the contacts, they're there now. And when I go into this page, I also need to refresh it in order to show up. So now I've got the three pages. If I click on contacts on this one, it takes me to contacts. When I click on example, it will take me there. When I click on my list, it will take me there. So that works. The only thing I need to do now is remove this my list of animals from this page. What's the point of having it there? I'm already on this page. So that's what I'm going to do in my code. And after that, we can move on to the next type of link that we're going to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is make sure, so over here, I'm in the contact details page, as you can see there, contact details. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just remove the contact detail paragraph. All right, and when I go to the next page, now I'm in the example of image. So the example of image, I can remove that one from this page. Okay, and then the last page we're going to look at is the uh, contact details. I've done that, the, my list of animals. So that's the one at the bottom here. So as soon as we remove this, we have a perfect navigation system within our page. All right, so I'm going to click on the stack disks because I've made changes to all three pages. I'm going to say yes over here. When I go into my browser, I just need to refresh all three pages. I need to go fix that. I made a little mistake there. Okay, I just added some code there by mistake. That, that doesn't matter for now. Okay, so that's basically um, it. And that is how you create a link that goes from one page in your website to another page in your website. What we're going to look at now is within this um, page here where it says example of image. If we go have a look at our code, Example of image. So over here, if I scroll down, you'll see there's quite a lot of text. And often when you get to the bottom, the navigation's at the top. So what I'm going to do is put a link at the bottom here that's just going to say return to the top of page. And they'll click on that and it will take them back to the top of the page just by clicking that button. They won't have to go and scroll back there. Okay, so in order to do this now, the first thing I must do is create a bookmark pointing to where I want the hyperlink to go. So the bookmark will be at the top of the page. So let's do that now quickly. Okay, so here's my body and it says tomato there. So that's the body tag right at the top. So even before the main example of image, I'm just going to create an A and I'm going to close it. So this particular um, um, these tags don't have any elements inside there. So I'm just basically calling that little space where the cursor is flashing my bookmark. And what I need to do though is over here where the um, opening tag is, is, I need to give this a name. So like we do bookmark names in Word, I do the same thing here. And the attribute name I need to use is name equals. And I'm going to just say very easy. So we know that this is the top of the document. And that is as easy as it is to create a bookmark. Now what I have to do is go to the bottom of my code. So this is where I want the link to now appear. It's quite a bit of writing. Okay, and then over here, this is where I'm going to create my hyperlink that's going to take me to the top. So there are my tags. Inside, I'm going to say... Click here to click here to return to the top of the page. And now 
it's a hyperlink so I still need to do href which is what we did before equals and because I'm using a bookmark I need to use the hashtag and then give the name so hashtag top All right now that I've done that control and s to save I'm going to go to my browser this is the page that I'm currently working in so I'm going to refresh this page okay so nothing happens at the top here. You'll notice there's nothing there above the example of image. But if I'm scrolling and I'm reading through the article and I reach the bottom, you will see the hyperlink appears at the bottom. When I click on it, boom, it takes me straight up to the top of the page. All right, guys, so that was the second type of um, uh, hyperlinks or links that we can do. I'm going to show you now another type that we can work with when it comes to the contacts so over here in contacts let's say for example I say email and I give you an example of an email there but it's my email when you click on it it must take you directly to your emailing um, app and add my email to the to um, text box and then you can just type in the subject the body and send it and there we go so what I'm going to do here now is create a link with this email where I'm going to go to that particular app and then I'm going to do the same thing similar to the number where you can click on the number and it will f phone okay so let's go in and we're going to contacts All right so I'm going to find the email and the same thing applies I want to create an anchor tag in the front and I want the anchor to stop at the end over here now in the opening tag the same attribute h ref is used equals and then quotation marks and what I'm going to do now is type in the email address but before I do I'm going to say mail to with the colons and then I'm going to type in that uh, email so if it's the same as the writing you can just retype that example at gmail.com all right so there's the first one that um, I mentioned then the next one over here we're going to do the same thing now but with the number so we're opening up the anchor and we're closing the anchor at the end of the number in the opening tag we're going to use href as well equals and now instead of saying mail to we're going to say tel for telephone colons and then type in the telephone number that is there so it's 083 in this case 231234 all right so there we go and that is how we create a different types of links now that will take you to an email address and to automatically phone so control and s to save let's go into the browser i'm going to need to refresh and now you can see that the email address is a link when I click on it it opens up my Gmail inbox so I'm going to close that now I don't want to send anything and if I click on the number it opens up or at least it's trying to open up the app that's going to be my uh, telephone app that I can link with my computer but I haven't set that up so let's just close that Alright, so there we go. That's another different type of way that you can create links using the um, tags. And then the last thing I want to do, let's say for example, in this contact page, I want to add a link that they'll be able to click on and download the actual content that I've created in a Word document. So I'm going to just write here, um, please follow this link to download documentation so what I can do instead of putting this whole sentence as the hyperlink I'm just gonna say uh, link so I want to make the word link the actual hyperlink so I put a there I put a closing tag there and what I want to do is link this to the Word document that I've got in the same folder that I was working on. Just to remind you, let me show you. So over here, you can see there I've got a Word document down at the uh, bottom. And that is what I want to link it to. 
so if we right click on this word document and we go to properties you will see within the properties we have a um, specific uh, wrong properties hold on right click and properties you will see the extension over here is um, dot docx. So if I want to use that word document, I need to make sure I use the correct extension. You can do this for Access, you can do it for Excel, um, PDF, it doesn't matter. Anything that's on your computer, you can link to it so it will download, but you need to make sure you get the right extension. So the word, the name is called word, very simple, dot docx. All right, so that's what we need to just remember when we do this now. So I'm going to go back into my code. All right, so over here we're using the same href equals and inside here it was called word and remember docx. All right, so control and S to save. Remember, I only put the anchors on the front and the end of the word link. So only the word link will be the actual link. And when I go to my web page and I refresh, you'll see there is the writing and just the word link is the actual link when I click on it it's going to download as you can see because I'm using edge that's the format if it's Chrome it comes up at the bottom but there we go and then it says open file so you've saved the file alright guys so that is um, the different types of links that you can get with the anchor tag in my next video we will be looking at inserting images and also working with the font tag just to create some more um, styles. Okay, until then, I hope you enjoy and remember to keep practicing.